Hi, John here. Um, today is Monday the 12th of June 2017. Um, just been reading on a, a, a hui up north and Titi Marae, or the, got its new name now, Te Tiriti o Waitangi Marae. Um, uh, Kingi Taurua and uh, Merehora, Merehora um, Taurua and Titi Whaiharawara is organising that. So I'll be there um, for the Huya, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock or something, 10 to 3, and uh, see if I've got something to contribute. But uh, my focus is on the Hokianga, I've got another hui over there for the 1834 side of the flag. The one that's on the 30th is the 1835, um, tied to the Titiriti of Waitangi. So those are two separate jurisdictions of Admiralty. And um, that hui that Tingi's got is um, um, to do with that marae on the other side, the Waitangi marae that we are going to seize. And the only way to do that was from that marae, the Titi marae, um, to seize the other marae and the land. So they're talking from the land's point of view, um, as far as real estate uh, goes, the Ututonga title is what I've got here, and um, the Williams family. Um, uh, um, I've been talking for Hare Ututonga, where that title is registered in the Land Information Office or the Crown Corporation's uh, land titles as quite separate to the 1834 title with the other lot in Hokianga looking after that 1834 side. So they're appropriate in both jurisdictions with the um, Te Tiriti or Waitangi Marae, they're going to transfer the authority from Titi over to Waitangi. Well, that's fine. That part's in order to seize the ship on the other side and the land. So that, in the first instance, is the land itself. Whose land is it? That's what I'm saying. Whose land is it? Does it belong to somebody or does it belong to the king? or queen, or the hapu. In this case, it belongs to the hapu, as far as I'm concerned, with the original 1834 founding of this country. That's the commercial side. That is the commercial land owner. Now, the 1835 is the native land owner. So those two differences, one is the money side, it entails the native and the commercial together in the 1834 side of the flag and so it has two elements to it commercial trade king title jurisdiction of admiralty magistrate court now that's the highest you can ever go in any jurisdiction in the world is that flag and the interpretation of the flag in this hui, with the 1835 side of the flag, it's rather mixed in Maori and uh, the Queen jurisdiction of New South Wales um, government and New Zealand mixed up together. So it's appropriate for Kingi and his um, Tomata Komatua, whatever you want to call it, to sort that out with the Crown. That's their jurisdiction of Queen Victoria title in Australia. And that side of the equation, it's still subject to the 1834 and those Komatua and Kuya in that side. So the 1835 side, which is the Hui on the 30th of June 2017 for the record, starts at 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock or something and I've emailed out to everyone my position on that as being a referee for both sides of the flag. Now both right and right 
They're both right in a way. Only one has more jurisdiction than the other. The 1834 takes precedence when it comes to jurisdiction of Admiralty Magistrate Court and the money and the native title. The original Moriori Manukau title <coughs> that made the commerce right through the world, including New Zealand. It's stuck inside the world court with the Freemasons and the Mati Mohi Manukau Paramount Chief title on the 1834 side with Hokianga because they're the only ones that are talking on that side. I'm clear on that. They're ready to go to Britain, but I'm just alerting the 1835-1840 Titiriti or Waitangi. The Waitangi lot are occupying the land occupying the land without all the other commercial side attached to it. They've got the ship captured in Waitangi Treaty Grounds. The, the ship that belongs to the 1834 is captured on the other side and it's Kingy's job to go and defuse it, which is what I can see why he's calling a meeting. I'm not influencing anything, by the way. I'm not influencing one side or the other, only to say what I think and what I've been left with by Mohi Manukau, Paramount Chief. I'm following what he says and putting it right to the will, not just up the road. So here, I'll be going to that meeting probably with uh, Desmond, my nephew. He's keeping a record on everything that's going on for our sake at Rangitukia and to Whakawhitira Native Court. We're, we're, we're going straight native, straight native, straight king. And we are connecting that to uh, Aoroa Native Court in Helensville, straight to the Manukau family and the Rogan family there. The one in Whakawhitira is the Whakawhitira Native Court is the Wānoa Rogan family, the Rogan judges, the Native Court, um, Admiralty Magistrate Court, birth certificates down that end. Okay, birth certificates down that end. And the 1835 and 1840, 1835 at uh, Helensville, the 1834 and 1835 is connected there to the Aworo Bank, which was became the BNZ Bank. And then it became the League of Nations Bank, and then the United Nations Bank, and then the World Bank, and now the World Court, where the bank is tied up with the Freemasons. Okay, Mohi Manukau Freemason, uh, Kaipara Harbour, and all those uh, connections to the King. To the Kings, King William IV, King William III, King George IV, King George III, King Ernest Augustus I. King Ernest Augustus, we're petitioning into Westminster right now. I'm doing that right now. Uh, and um, I'm going to talk about that at the Hui up north briefly. Always 10 minutes flat. I'll get my 10 minutes flat in and tell them the petition that's going ahead. I'm going to try and raise the money, or I'm going to raise the money uh, online with a lot of people following now on this direction. This is a straight run. It has nobody that can interfere with the 1834 side of the flag of private contract in a magistrate court. We have our native magistrate court, magistrate court, I put it on to the email to just condense that title. Uh, in in um, Hokianga's Hui, they're going to have a hui. I don't know which date it is going to be, but I'll be there to um, have a look and just update everything. But they generally have things under control there from a political and commercial point of view. Commercial, 
far outweighs any other issue going on this land here and the planet. This is where the powerhouse decisions are made. It will be set up in Auckland from Awaroa Native Court uh, in Helensville on a 10 acre block to Cornwall Park in Auckland as the main um, Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World connection to Britain, dual government um, under those kings that I've just said. In particular this one here with the flag, King William IV and the eight point star of St. Patrick's. The uh, magistrate part of the um, chief uh, commander, not commander in chief but chief commander. The chief commanders are the paramount chiefs. They are the ones that I'm putting right there. Uh, King is uh, responsible for recovering the Queen Victoria Trust on the 1835 side. That's where that was created after 1840. Uh, so that's 1860, 1844. The uh, Queen Victoria Trust was set up with the Queen Victoria School in Auckland as being uh, um, a party and uh, beneficiary of that trust. That means the money from the Queen Victoria Trust pays for that college and all its upkeeps and the uh, enrolments of students that go in there. That's what that was set up for. And other parks and doma dom domains around the country, uh, roads and whatever that uh, comes out of the Queen Victoria Trust. It's, uh, it's for the beneficiaries uh, on their lands and um, whatever organisations they are funded by the Queen Victoria Trust direct. The government has to apply to that and to the World Bank for funding itself. It can't go into our accounts. Um, you Paramount Chiefs, they can't go into our accounts without applying for loans from it. That's what I did when I went to uh, HM Treasury in 2012, was to go against this title and go and borrow or go and pick up claim £16 million. And this lot here, the news here in uh, Whale Blubber Oil um, media made a big hash out of it. They're going to get sued real bad. And the police and everybody thought it was a big joke. But the CIB here in New Zealand found it to be fraudulent of what they did to me. And so I have to go, they couldn't do anything about it here, I have to go to England to claim that. So there we go, we got that to go against to get things rolling once I'm there or I can make up applications into the court there, which is what I'm going to do with the petitioning of uh, King Ernest Augustus on my list of things to do uh, with uh, the Hui up north in both Pukianga and at Waitangi. So I'll go to both of those Hui's to address them in the right legal format. Uh, as far as I'm concerned with uh, Kingi and the Hui with Titi Fai and Merehora, uh, Merehora uh, Taurua, um, they're, they're shifting the Titi Marae jurisdiction over into the other Marae. Now that's getting a bit close to the Crown on the Queen's side operating inside that Marae with a King's title. They cannot touch the King's title with this flag on that side. They've got to get in trouble from these Paramount Chiefs and me. If they start tampering with our contract, because that's our contract, that ship of Admiralty on the other side belongs to King William and the British Royal Navy, our partner, not the Navy in New Zealand, not the Navy in New Zealand. They're the ones who are usurping our authority from these paramount chiefs. You got that Bundy and you fellows there, uh, Hedo Winnie and uh, Manahi? Take note. You listen? That's correct. I'm saying the authority lies with paramount chiefs who are equal to the king in authority, ruling authority, emperor, to this land and into the Pacific but 
the Pacific Islands people will do their own jurisdiction and so forth and Britain will do their own. Every other country that I'm going into with this flag is under 250, 250 countries straight to their government, straight from this um, embassy here on Cornwall Park. That's where it's gone. That's where boy he wanted it. He wanted it to go in there. And he wanted that obelisk up the hill to come down. Well, I'll, I'll make a decision about that because I'm not going to upset any of the immigrants here uh, who have come here legally under that King William flag here. They're not appreciating this flag or its ignorance of the immigrants who are here in Devonport and New Plymouth, Plymouth to Plymouth in England, where the authority came from William Yard. I'm going there to put this flag up in William Yard. And you people should be lucky to be here from this king. This king allowed you people to legally be here from Britain. And these paramount chiefs are legally in a position to remove anybody who plays up. You see, I'm, I'm there for them as this bank of magistrate court, the registrar ma magistrate court uh, creditor to go and find all the crooked pirates which this flag is for in the 1834 side of the flag. The 1835 has no jurisdiction at all because this pirate government in Wellington legislated it out, but they couldn't touch our contract, the private contract, with the king and the world court. Okay? The world court controls the whole of the commerce of those kings I just said. And they control here as well. So you've got that on your hands. I'm saying the paramount chiefs, I've only chose three, I've, I've nominated or or uh, appointed three paramount chiefs to their own surname parties in a two-way partnership with the King of Britain, UK, successor King Innes Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover. There, he's already the king. And all we had to do is stand here and put them in. So, so that's what I'm doing right now. The people are watching this video around the world. We have a real king living in London. He's 63 or 64, something like that. I've forgotten now. Um, 63 or 64. Maybe 64. And his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus is 33 or 34 now. Now he's up and coming as the king in the bloodlines and the sailor law forbidding woman to succeed to the throne. You'll find that the queen had no coronation at all. It was fake. Everything she's got, including this Titiriti, a Waitangian treaty, a Waitangian 1840, is fraud with her fingerprints all over it. I'm just saying she abandoned Ship of Admiralty on the 1834 side and took off into the EU Parliament thinking she's safe in Brussels, in Belgium. No, she's not, because that's the 1834 Admiralty Magistrate Court right in there when we walk in there and own up who we are as a second party to the first party contract, then the Treaty of Waitangi, the Te 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 Treaty of Waitangi, is a third party. Now that's the rigid part of legal authority. Bundy, I think you've got it. You, you, you've got that. So, you have your hui up there, and that's the way it's running right now. I'm petitioning our king into Westminster online, on the petition I've just put there in the email to you to tell you where I'm at with the rest of the world watching and waiting for the sleepy giant to wake up. So, uh, Kingy, I'm just waiting to 
ring you up shortly or now and um, see what is going on. And I trust that you will do your part. Oh, I left the email to call him. I'll see if he answers his phone. I'll ring Kingy Chodor and see if I can raise him a little check and go and meet him. Kira, Kira, are you in Auckland? Yeah. You got a bit of time? I can't see you. Now or later? Uh, I'll say about uh, midday. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. There you go. He said Radio Wate working. That'll be the first time I've been to Radio Wate for a long time because I used to go there a lot with Titty Fire. And she used to be my friend. Well, she might be still my friend now. We'll see because. If they pull this one off up at Waitangi, in the right sense of the word, then that's a big plus. I think they're all right to do that, to go on to the other side, as long as they get there. And it'll all go the right way after that. Occupy the land this way is correct. Uh, Key, you occupy the land in the correct way. Have a hui. Tell them you're coming. Go there and sit in that marae and she's got my carvings in there, can you? That's what we went in there for, to seize the land and the ship. That first point of call. You have to do that first to undo the title. The Paramount Chiefs cannot do that job successfully without a fight. It has to be done from that marae on that side of the equation. On the 1835 side, Kimi, you have to undo the 1835 side with Titi Fai and Medhora. Anybody that's doing that, fine by me. Up to a point. Up to a point that I see Bryce once. Um, Peter Peroni removed? I should think so. Uh, I'll go with that. The young fellow's got to stand up. So he's got to, he's got to stand up, uh, Bryce. You fellow's got to stand up now and take the lead from the Ngāpui in because that's your flag. Nobody else's. That's your flag. The 13 chiefs cut the rest out. They don't come into the 1834 side. They'll only come into the 1835 side. That's your job, Bryce. You, you've got to do undo that side. Put the bills together and give it to me. I'll handle this side on the 1834 side, the credit side from the debt side. So you undo the debt to get your land back, put it on paper, and then fire it over this way. And that's my job. Okay? Simple. You look after the Paradeka and the Poros and all the rest of it and administer your land there. That's not my job. That's not, not my job. My job is to talk on the other end in Britain and sort that in out. I, I'll stand over there and you stand over here. Okay? You, you young fellows and Desmond and all the rest of the young fellows up and coming. Uh, so I'm talking straight to uh, both sides of the flag uh, online and we're petitioning um, King Ernest Augustus into the throne because the Queen's got to go. The Queen's got to go, Kingy. And the King to keep the flag going alive. We need the flag to stay alive with that ship of Admiralty on that side where Waitangi Marae is. You've got to go there and seize the ship, just like we did on the 15th 
of April 2016, Kiki, we went into that marae to stamp the transfer of the Okiato Native Court in Kororareka, Russell, over into that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Okay, you got that? So from there, on the 6th of February 2017, this year, these three Paramount Chiefs are standing there, transferred that Native Court in Waitangi over to Titi Marae as the first Marae outside where the ship is standing on that dry land over there is the Admiralty ship on dry land off the sea. The flag is on dry land. This flag is on dry land. Everybody watching? The Union Jack flag is 200 miles out in the ocean. That's where John Key wanted to throw it back into the sea and put his fern flag on to try and steal this country for his private elite banks. It backfired, John Key. It backfired. And everything else you've done with the rugby as your business. The fern as your business. And that fern belongs to everybody, including these paramount chiefs who have the rights over it. They have the patent rights under the Moai Crown, standing in London, standing in Auckland. The statue is our title, John Key. It's standing in Dunedin with the head on his head. That's the crown the Pākehā has put there, coming to put it there to claim the Maui Earth God Spirit title. Now, we're going to get that back as well when we go to Britain. Put the flag up, that's one thing. Seize and claim Maui God's Earth title, the Spirit title. That's the second thing. Raise the flag in Westminster Parliament, that's the third thing. Raise the flag in Trafalgar Square at the Admiralty Magistrate Court building in uh, Paddington, the Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington. Raise the flag there, raise it on the Admiralty building, the old building where they had the law go from. And then raise it at the William Yard in Plymouth to New Plymouth here, to from Plymouth there, Plymouth Yard, and Devonport, over here in Auckland, to Devonport over there, raise it in Devonport in William Yard, and raise it in Plymouth Court, County Court House, with the Sheriff there, as the court to nominate and appoint King Ernest Augustus V into Westminster from that court with this flag. Okay, he goes straight in to replace the Queen and seize all her titles. And the Queen Victoria Trust and the missing gold, 1.5 million metric tons of gold, most of it in Philippines, that belongs to that King that we are nominating and appointing and petitioning into the throne in Buckingham Palace. Okay, that's what's going to happen. I'm starting it today, the petition, online, and see how that goes. Okay, so that's uh, that uh, side of the ledger, the levy, levy, one side, debtors, the 1835, Te Tiriti o Waitangi, 1840. Side of the flag on the Queen's side is the Levy Debtors. So this hui on the 30th deals with wrongdoings, fraud, corruption of the lands, theft of the lands, theft of the birth certificates, theft, theft of everything. The resources in the sea, the, the trees, natural resources, and the <clears throat> desecration of lands and also genocide and all the rest of it. 
Paddy Hacker and all of us. Now, nah, boy, all that lot from the other side, the Declaration of War side of the flag, the 1834, the 1835 is the Declaration of Independence side, and the, the, the 1834 side of the flag is the Declaration of War side of the flag, state of emergency. They use that state of emergency to seize lands and demolish the government that's there and put it into the British government. So that's what happened. That's what happened <coughs> to Kororareka when they shifted the uh, British government up there down to Auckland and set up in uh, Hobson. Hobson set up in the government house in Ipsum and want to help as the title. Okay, that's the Manukau title. And so, to cut up, long story short, uh, I've just uh, put the right video on. I, I couldn't upload it because I was uploading it from the external drive and it wouldn't upload and cut the video off and all sorts of things went wrong. So I've got the full um, uh, video there now of the petition King uh, Ernest Augustus V into the Parliament, the throne, uh, explaining most of it and then 38 degrees uh, explaining how I'm going to put that all together today. And there's another um, uh, company I want to use as well, but I'll, I'll start with this one first, Ev, 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 Ev something. Um, um, that's the other one that I can advertise on there as well. So any do donations, anybody can contribute straight on to that site. I'll leave it there, I'll, I'll leave it up to uh, um, 38 degrees to um, put, a, put a, a funding there to fund them and fund us for the Paramount Chiefs to go to Britain, UK. But I'm just waiting for Sue Nakora. Um, <coughs> and her funding to come through next week, I think it is. I'll give her a call and see where she is with it. But I won't do it on this video because it'll go too long. Her call, I'll do it after. Um, so um, that's uh, the extent of uh, both sides to keep the peace uh, between um, uh, the um, Taumata Koma tour of uh, Titi, um, Titi, or, or, or Titi Marai, uh, and their um, way of doing things, and also from the uh, Hokianga um, Taumata Komatua. The history actually comes from Hokianga for Ngāpui. I've got all that with the muskets and everything up, up there. Uh, we had Hui's all the way through the years um, with the Awihilni and um, all the rest of them, Mohi Manukau and them. Uh, and I was there at all of them, just about, and kept a record. I've got a record of all those hui's. I always used to take notes of it and um, record it for Mohi. Uh, and so um, um, they, they are more familiar, more op open about what they're doing now without um, hesitation, um, the facts are there. They have the fact, information, and evidence, citations. These videos that I'm making are citations, their evidence for 38 degrees. Um, David, Bampi, Bampi, Babs, Babs, David Babs. Uh, from 38 degrees, uh, I'll put things together um, to petition um, King Augustus to the throne and also to raise this flag in Westminster. That's what uh, Matt Taylor was doing, but he only got as far as doing all the groundwork. Uh, thanks to you, Matt. Uh, it's uh, it's the time now. It, uh, I should have been there to do it, but I had to get on side with our chiefs comes first. The Paramount Chiefs uh, have the right of say, not me, uh, about that flag. It belongs to the 
permanent chiefs uh, to talk to the flag, not me. I'm there to advise and to direct uh, on the banking side and commercial side, real estate side and uh, investment interest sides of the flag commercially with Britain all around the world, from Britain. And I've got to do it there, not here. Um, I can do it here, but I mean the organisation uh, is over there. The satellite is here and all the other countries in the world. The flag, on the other hand, has an authority to itself for New Zealand. It can't control other countries. That can only be done from Britain and our executive there. I've got um, Kevin Rice. He's um, uh, here to look after all the uh, economic developments, the hydrogen economy here, while I'll look after the British side and the European side of that operation under this flag. So the uh, benefits of that uh, go to the hapu here as well. They have their royalties that I've got sorted and proportionate to each country because the flag went around and the Paramount Chiefs never went with it around the world. The Queen and her merry men went around it. We're not bothered about what they've done. We only know what they've used our authority of the King to amass all their fortunes and that's what our business is to audit it, not the Paramount Chiefs, but the organisation in Britain where the trademark comes from. <clears throat> we have our, our patent rights and copyrights of Maui Crown. Everything that we're doing is sealed with the Maui Crown Memorial. That's the statue in Auckland. The statue in South Island is the crown on his head right through the world there with those Pakeas down. Uh, who, who are sitting underneath that uh, is my own Tahitian royal family, one royal family title, and there's enough information on that online uh, to uh, link that to the Maui statue standing in London, the one standing in Brussels. That's the one we're going to I'll stand right beside it with the flag and these paramount chiefs. So that's standing there, and New York, where the stock exchanges, where King William IV set up and a standing in Washington, D.C. where all the mischiefers of the um, federal state government acting under this flag. They are acting under this flag from Britain and abusing its law and jurisdiction. There is only 1984 pages of laws and acts from Westminster that we use from seven years of King William IV setting that stock exchange up and Washington DC private companies under this private contract flag. The 1835 has no private contract. It has no contract. It only got shut down by the 1840 treaty that those chiefs signed that on, but they never signed the first one. Right? The first one is separate. That's signed by Tira Waikato, Whareherehere, Manukau only in Britain, in Edinburgh. Signed in Edinburgh. Um, Royal Navy Magistrate Court. Right, that's where our native magistrate court jurisdiction and authority, emperor's ruler, ruling authority comes from straight from that court on the ship with the captain there at the time 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy Lieutenant William Simons Magistrate himself Magistrate walking around Magistrate live Magistrate straight to the King William the fourth magistrate to transfer the land title of Te Rawaikato Whara Herehere Manukau from Cambridge, New Zealand to Cambridge where he lived in England through this magistrate court to sell the whole lot of New Zealand's lands 
in the Pacific Islands lands at the same time, from 1820 period to 1830 onwards. Okay, so we're dealing with that chief, that title, and its authority over this country, over the whole lot. These paramount chiefs are going to Britain. David, Babs, they're coming there with me to claim that title back to the King's common law people of the world. Okay, so we're going to methodically put things together to split it amongst 250 countries under this 1834 declaration of war flag. When the flag goes into a country, it demolishes the government of that country that's using and abusing the British King's law. I'll just explain. So that's what we're going to do with the Philippines, where all the gold is. It won't be taking much to do that. I'll engage with the Scottish Freemasons because they're the brains behind all those certificates created through Westminster. I'll only go through Westminster. I won't go to Scotland. I'll go through Westminster to go as partners to that authority with the First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, and the First Lord of the Treasury, Prime Minister Theresa May. This is to you, Prime Minister. We're coming to see you going to put it in the position that the natives have suddenly woken up. They have woken up here and smelling the roses. They now know who was crooking who on the Queen's side because she's been fraudulent with her crown all these years. Right through from 18, 1952, Queen Elizabeth, and back to 18. 1837, when King William IV died, his niece, Queen Victoria, took over. From there, that's when it slid backwards into a Bismarck of fraud and corruption with the Rothschild banks and the churches. The Church of England and the Catholic Church was then overrun by the Rothschild family who married Queen Victoria's family on that side. That's the King Edward side with King Itoloa and his hui on the 30th is responsible for that. On this side, we have the King William the third and fourth and King George the third and his sons, King William the fourth, King Ernest Augustus the first and King George the fourth on this side with these paramount chiefs sitting beside me, or standing beside me, on that side, to rein that lot in. They've got to do their thing. Leave them with their way of doing things. They have to undo that and put it back on this side. They're on that side, they're on this side too. But we're separating the powers between the two. Bundy? We're separating the jurisdiction of the Queen, fraud, that side, both Queens, fraud, and no fraud, this side, deeds of truth, from Moa to this side, to correct the mistakes of that side, and its wars. This is the flag of war, this is the flag of fraud, and deception through the declarations. The Declaration of Independence of 1835 was shut down and taken over by the pirates in Australia. Okay, you got that? I think you have. That's as easy as I can put it across uh, to you in simple terms. I'm just voicing what Mohi Manika would say from a legal point of view. I'm talking from a legal point of view of legitimacy and fact, evidence in all these citations and documents I've got online. Uh, now all the capital letters that you see mixed up in all my writings, those are by accident, most of them by accident because the flip 
typing keys to get in my way. Um, because I'm typing with one finger, it slips over the capital button, so I just carry on. And it turned out into confusing the corporates. They don't like you playing around with capital letters because that's their secret tied up in those capital letters. So we're going to defuse all that lot and throw it in the bin and start again. But that's going to take some time. So we're still using the system on this Paramount side as being a straight king's commerce and in the law of admiralty, not the Roman side, this side. That's the Roman side of UCC law and canon law, courier law and civil law on this side. Vice Admiral side, play, play, that's the play ship side. And on this side we're using the same laws but not from Rome. We're using it straight from the king in Westminster. Okay, got that? He's the one that created the laws that the Pope on this side and also sucked off the brains of this side. Okay, so to the Scottish people and my Scottish friends, Jackie and Andy and uh, Jeroni and Zara, that's my family. They're my, they're my adopted family. And so I spend a lot of time on Skype with them. So I'm hoping to be on Skype with uh, David Russell and uh, a few others, uh, Matt Taylor and, them, and uh, also John Patterson. I'll get get in, in touch with you, but I think you're still stuck in, in the university side. Uh, I didn't want to get too technical in there because I'm dealing with native titles on land that got confiscated or stolen. And I'm looking at the law from that side of the contract with this flag. Nothing to do with anybody, really. And um, Gordon Bowden. Gordon Bowden, I'm too, Gordon Bowden is an ex-Air Force military. Uh, who has um, uh, dug up all the um, fictitious corporate companies that have been making money out of companies that are not there. So he's got a big list of that. That'll be um, good to put all that together to make a bill to get a little bit. Um, so, and then we got, um, he, he, he's done a lot of work uh, on the street as well, uh, campaigning. And um, also John Patterson is an ex-military uh, police. Um, so he's done a lot of, of uh, um, uh, research and, and street walking as well. But his family on the Patterson side have the Bank of England, that's the Patterson's put that together. William Patterson put the Bank of England together. But King William IV, King William III, sorry, um, put it through Westminster and commercialised it and make, made, uh, made uh, it work. Um, finally, the Bank of England, uh, and that's our pound note uh, as well. He created the pound note and the gold coins and all the rest of that and the commerce. And so, uh, with that, in King William's memorial, um, he created the stock exchange in uh, New York in his 50 years in the Navy as, like what I'm saying, magistrate court that makes the money in the eight-point star that collects the money. Uh, using St. Patrick's Church as the um, um, rent chief collector of, of revenue, the King's Royal Revenue, and m money, and turn it into money. That's what the eight point star on their flag is, in the four corners of the earth, is St. Patrick. The St. Mary's Church, on the other hand, is the um, birth certificate titles. Uh, first started here in the world, here, on my own land block, 1831. Uh, with the same magistrate court to King William IV in 1831 in Tiki Tiki. So that will be handled by money, uh, money of this um, Paramount Chiefs, one of the Paramount Chiefs. Well, he will be looking after that and that title. And Bundy will be looking after the 1834 flag of the land itself and look after that side of the... Uh, of Napui. Napui pay, pays the biggest part. As far as Muhi Manikau was concerned on the, the uh, carving, the four pillars carving, and the four main chiefs and tribes, uh, that uh, Napui is supposed to and will lead the rest of the hapus right through this um, um, change of status. 
from being merely native landowners to commercial landowners. Uh, so Bundy, um, you've done a very good job. I'm, very, I'm pleased uh, with your progress and uh, tenacity and jurisdiction of purpose to fulfil what the Tupanas wanted to do in the first place. You're armed with all these documents. Uh, they're sealed. They are sealed with the kings and with the Maui and sealed uh, in already on the other end. The documents are already there. Now, with uh, Charles Herschel hasn't called me back, but I think he might see a danger for all the barristers and solicitors and lawyers here will be in trouble with these paramount chiefs. They'll be in real trouble because they've been administering the fraud land titles and every other fraud deal here. For all these years, Bundy, now, you know what I mean, and for Kingy, he, Kingy has to round up all his komatua and queer. You see, they don't know the commercial side as well as you do, Bundy. You have a brain to sort that out. And Manahi has uh, uh, skills in the courts. He's a JP, so he's in the court all the time, both of you. Uh, uh, um, involved with community and um, uh, welfare. Um, you're going into a commercial world now, which is something quite different on a big scale. And that's the job I'm in. I've set a lot of time to, to put all our economy together with the tidal energy. It's massive. I'm going to put the petition of King Ernest Augustus with the hydrogen economy and Britain with the British Lapcat A2 passenger aircraft that I was wanting to fire up long ago. I'll put that uh, picture of um, um, Dover and Margate there with the aeroplane flying from Auckland to there in four hours. And that was way back in 2008-2009 when we were doing the Foreshore Seabed Act and the Cook Street <coughs> land title with Mohi Manaka. I learned a lot from Mohi in the Freemason side of the, 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 the connection of his family and mine in the native courts and where he worked in the native court in Helensville. Mohi was a surveyor with his uncle, John Rogan, his uncle, taught him how to uh, survey lands and sell. That's all he was there for, to sell land. And he he didn't know the commercial side, the banking side. He didn't know any of that. None of their family knew that. So to all those Manukau families, uh, you have a place in all of this, but unfortunately for you, you'd have to learn, like everyone else, where you fit into a commercial world. It's nothing to do with tikanga. It's nothing to do with who's who here. It's a British uh, uh, commercial contract business. It's just business applied to lands they've conquered. Okay, so there's, there's, you have to try to get them off your land if you want it back. But there's too many of them. To knock them out, you have to knock the big ones off the top, not the bottom or halfway up, which is what people try to do. <clears throat> be outnumbered. The elite will outnumber you with their few people. There's 7 billion people in the world, there's only about 500 uh, million of them that are um, uh, elite. Not, not even a million, a hundred million of them are the elite. At least 1% of them are, are, are running the whole world. And they'll come down with this flag if it's applied in the